Pocono had nothing but tricks for Junior, jam ups for Jimmy and Jamie, and a reminder to keep your eyes on the silent ones. Hello everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn here in the Fan and Media Engagement Center and this is Rearview Mirror. The three left turns of Pocono Raceway sure didn't disappoint, unless you're a Junior fan. The tricky triangle kept the season's tricks coming for Dale Earnhardt Jr., who couldn't seem to get a grip on the correct gear this weekend. Repeating his mistakes from practice Friday kept him from finishing the race on Sunday. I don't know whether it's something about my motion. It's not, uh, it's, you know, going in the wrong gear. I can't, uh, I wish I could blame it on something else because this is awful. It's just uh, my fault. I don't know what else to, uh, I wish I could say that the shifter's different and, and something's, uh, something's out of line that's or, you know, not, not something I've done. I don't know what, what's going on, what I got to do or how, why this is really happening out of nowhere. So I don't know what, I don't know, we don't really have an answer to it other than me just having to pay more attention. But I mean, I've been doing this all my life and this isn't, this isn't a common issue that it has been this weekend. From one trick to another, turn one took the race from Jimmy Johnson, who had a brake failure, which sent him flying into the wall, then immediately caused Jamie McMurray to slide into the wall too and burst into flames. Turn one, Jimmy Johnson slams the outside retaining wall. Now another car, Jamie McMurray, is up into the wall, and Jamie has pulled the car, nosed it into the safer barrier gently, and he has bailed out of that car as it slowly becomes engulfed in flames. You know, a, a big scare. I haven't had a scare like that since 2000 in, in, uh, in Watkins Glen, which let my, my uh, wife and kids know, my mom know I'm okay, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll go change my underwear and get ready to go home. Oh, Jimmy, that's definitely TMI. And now, the memorable moment of the week. The winner at Pocono, Ryan Blaney for the Wood Brothers. Wow. What a race. Wow. Sometimes you really got to worry about those silent ones. At least Kyle Busch should have. Ryan Blaney took the lead from Busch in the last 10 laps of the race and was able to hold back Kevin Harvick to pull off the race win. Not only was it his first Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win, but he did it throwback style, just like the Wood Brothers would have done back in the day. Radio issues meant he had to resort to hand signals, proving that technology is sometimes overrated. That's 99 Monster Energy Cup Series wins for the Wood Brothers. We'll have to wait and see next Sunday if they can notch 100 in the Motor City.